And now, Fight Club, we have one more undercard fight and then our main event. What do you say? Are you ready for your final undercard fight of the night? This is an impromptu battle. We don't know what's going to happen, but they're two of our favorites here up first. He is the big dog in Comedy Fight Club. He looks like he licks maple syrup off of women. Mark Henley! Yeah! Uh. Yo, get it twisted. This rap shit. What's up, Mark? Are you ready for this fight? This isn't a game to me. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to meet your opponent now. He's the official goofball of Comedy Fight Club. He looks like he wears a propeller hat during sex. Patrick Haggerty! What's up, Patrick? How you feeling? You ready for this fight? I've been pre preparing weeks for this. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be five jokes, tip for tat, big dog, goofball, which one of you two would like to go first? I will have my say first. Okay. <laughs> Mark is gonna go first, Patrick's going second. Fight Club, what do you say? Give me some energy, we ready for this fight? Yeah. Five jokes starting with Mark Henley, this fight starts now. Even though this was impromptu, I have a prepared statement. <laughs> Listen, I, lo I, I like Pat, and we're friends, and I thought it'd be very difficult to write jokes about him. I'm, it's much easier to write jokes about people I hate. That's why I have 5,000 jokes about Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew I needed to find a way to hate Patrick, so I've been scrolling through your Instagram. I've been scrolling through. I've been trying to do research. I took my inspiration from Shakespeare's Othello. Have you ever read it? Uh, yeah. Tell them about it. Uh, there's Othello, right? And he's like, chilling. It's Shakespeare's Othello. The antagonist, Iago, hates Othello the more. But you didn't fucking know that. Iago hates Othello so much that he, for fun, likes to find new ways to hate Othello. In this process, he finds that he's in love with Ophelia, Othello's wife. Her name is Desmond. What was it? I read it once in college. <laughs> so I decided I need to do some research on Patrick. I need to find something to hate. I started scrolling through his Instagram to find ways to hate him. And I noticed something. I noticed that his girlfriend was something of a hot tamale. <laughs> as I was scrolling through his pic, as I was scrolling through his pics, I find myself lingering on Pat's girlfriend's pics. As I gazed at her pics, I felt the size of my mouth curve into a smile. <laughs> I felt heat in, my, heat in my cheeks as they turned red. I'm not proud to admit this, but I found myself developing feelings for Pat's girlfriend. <laughs> but how could damn, this be? son, where'd you... <laughs> That's right, damn son, where did I get this? <laughs> but how could this be? Was this real? Was I channeling Iago and only falling for Pat's girlfriend to find ways to hate him more? Potentially. But this love has been born out of hate, has developed into something more. I am in love with your girlfriend. <laughs> and I believe through this roast battle, I will prove my point for why she should be my girlfriend instead. <laughs> Big dog, more like faggot. <laughs> Pat Haggerty builds furniture. I don't want to build furniture. There's one thing one, I want to build. A life with Pat's girlfriend. <laughs> Mark Henley, more like dark men, please. <laughs> yes, queen, slay. <laughs> Pat's girlfriend is a chef, which is fitting, because... <laughs> oh wee! Mark Henley, more like Narc Henley, cause Mark likes to get people in trouble for doing drugs. Boo! We do drugs. We do drugs. We do drugs. <laughs> Pat Haggerty's initials are PH, oh. which is fitting, cause she should.
which makes an F sound, which is fitting because she should fucking leave him for me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Mark Henley's initials are MH, which is fitting because Mark likes to make heroin and shoot it into his penis. <laughs> He just said I don't do drugs. He's no consistency. <laughs> Pat Haggerty has no consistency. <laughs> you know who has consistency? Me, the guy who should be with Pat Haggerty's girlfriend. <laughs> Mark Henley lives in Jersey City. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say Mark Henley has had sex with 30 kitties. <laughs> I'm here to date your six-year-old. I'm allergic to cats, guys. Fight Club, give it up for Mark and Patrick! Very fun battle, especially they just found out they were doing this, what, 45 minutes ago? Give it up one more time for Mark and Patrick! We'll go to our judges. Robbie Goodwin, we'll start with you. Who do you think won this fight? Wow, that was way better than the ones you guys prepare for. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should get 45 minutes every time. Uh, it was really funny. My favorite part was Pat's... Pat's first joke was big dog, more like faggot. I can't believe you had to read that off your phone. You didn't memorize that one? <laughs> five words total. <laughs> Barely. Um, <laughs> it was great. I love that Mark's always... There's always an air of desperation, and Patrick's a little too confident, so it's kind of... <laughs> Funny to see the, the styles clash. Um, I'm giving it to Patrick, but it, they're both great stuff. I, I was entertained and laughed the whole time. That's one vote for Pat Haggerty. Champ, what do you think of this fight? Oh man, yeah, absolutely wonderful clash of styles. <laughs> Mark doing a whole Shakespearean monologue, and then Pat just being like, you're gay. <laughs> Beautiful. This is tough because like Mark is a very close friend of mine, but Pat and I have to ride the train home together tonight. Uh, it, it, it was super close, but I think uh, through Mark's words, I'm also in love with your girlfriend, Pat. <laughs> so I think Mark won this battle. One vote for Mark, one vote for Pat. Fight Club will go to you guys. Do you think the winner of this fight is Mark Henley? <laughs> Or is the winner of this fight, Patrick Haggerty? Yeah. It was close, like barely crowd vote went to Mark. James Mattern, what do you think? Okay, uh, I found it very interesting that uh, uh, fucking Mark was talking about stealing like his woman because you look like the dude who like is like uh, broke up with his wife and you're the dude fucking his wife right now. <laughs> and raising their kids and feeding them breakfast. Like that, so the irony of that shit is phenomenal. It was really funny. Um, I love the five minute filibuster. <laughs> I'm like, is this tick for tack or just tap? <laughs> uh, man, it's fucking close. Was it 2-1 Mark? 2-1 uh, Mark, yes. I'm gonna put the pressure on you, dog. Fucking 2-2, two -two. Patrick, go. Another vote for Pat Haggerty. It comes down to Fluke Human. Who do you think won this one? Oh, man, this is a wild fight between uh, Gimli and Pippin up here. <laughs> Fellowship of the Ring Pop. <laughs> that was great. Mark, love your entry. You, you do comedy like uh, like James if he could enunciate words. <laughs> oh, man. I, I was here for the, the preparation process with, uh, with Pat before the battle. Glad he went with uh, Dark Men, please. That was fire. Uh, not, uh, not parked Bentley. That just uh, wasn't really work for her. You know, Stark, uh, Hen, Keep, etc. But Pat walked up the stage. I was like, man, who's gonna start Chance based off jokes that no one liked? <laughs> but luckily, Nick Cara, uh, fellow Pedro comedy fest member, we got the Chant light. Goblins in the house. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give it to Pat. I think he was a little punchier. Another vote for Pat Haggerty. Fight Club, a great fight. Give it up for the winner, Pat Haggerty.